yet. So I just want to do a quick review of my new telescope that I just got yesterday, actually. Um, and this is the Skywatcher. This is a classic 250p. This is a 10 inch Newtonian reflector on a Dobsonian mount. Um, so this telescope, th for one thing, this is my first telescope. This is the telescope that I initially got into astronomy with. This is the Celestron Astromaster 114. Uh, this is a four and a half inch uh, New Newtonian reflector slash Bird Jones design telescope on a German equatorial mount, um, which means that the way this goes is this turns the right ascension and this knob is the declination. Those are the slow motion control knobs and that's how you track objects. It's not motorized. This is a Dobsonian mount, uh, which means it rotates in azimuth with these tension control handles. And then if you want to move the altitude, alt as, uh, you just pull that little knob or just pull the telescope, whatever. So um, some substantial upgrades from my last scope. This is a Crayford, Crayford style focuser, um, which is a lot different than this, which is a rack and pinion focuser. Um, still, I really had no issues with this, um, but this one in particular is a spring loaded um, focuser, a lot more tension on it, it feels a lot smoother. Um, I believe this was named because of, from an astronomical society in Crayford, England. Uh, Thomas Hall or Thomas Ball, something like that. It's a guy that invented this in the late 60s. Um, and I, I love it. Uh, I just got this and I took it out last night and um, I got to see Saturn, um, the Cassini division, a ton of Saturn's moons, just beautiful colors. Jupiter, I got to see the great red spot. Never seen it before. Uh, beautiful, colorful cloud bands and all the Jupiter moons. I mean, this thing was incredible. Um, so definitely a good review. Um, it is super smooth. It rotates super, super smoothly and can be adjusted as well. Uh, you can adjust the tension however you like. Um, this right here is actually a tension control knob and you can loosen it and tighten it. Um, and it's just a very, very easy telescope to use. Um, my one complaint, and I'm sure this is every single person's complaint that has bought this telescope, is this uh, <laughs> straight through finder scope. Now, this is a 9x50 finder scope, and it's great. I mean, it looks great when you look through it. The, it's a great wide angle finder scope, but it doesn't, it's not a right angle finder scope. I mean, there's literally just no comfortable way to get behind this thing and <laughs> like use it as a finder it's, it's ridiculous i really don't know why they put that on there but that's literally the only complaint i have um this is a 10 inch parabolic mirror um i believe this is a pyrex mirror um, but i'm not 100 percent sure but it is phenomenal the views i got mind-blowing going from a four and a half inch mirror to a 10 inch, um, it, it was incredible. I paid uh, $610 uh, before tax for this. Um, it came with the finder scope. Um, it also came with um, a super 25, a 25 millimeter lens and a 10 millimeter lens, um, which honestly I haven't even used yet because I have this uh, Orion lens pack that I got. Um, it's got a Barlow lens, a two times Barlow lens, a 7.5 millimeter plossel, and also a 20 millimeter plossel, which is in my telescope right now. Um, a red, yellow, and a blue filter, and a neutral density moon filter. So, anyway, I just wanted to say I am extremely happy with this Skywatcher 250p um, 10 inch Dobsonian. Um, highly recommend.